The videos were shocking. When cameras caught Hossam Hassan chasing a photographer, hitting him over and over, then he snatched his camera to break it into pieces. He was accused of assault, stealing a memory card and destroying public property. On Saturday, an Egyptian court found him innocent and only fined him $50 for the camera. It's a clear mistake from a big star to run and attack a man doing his job in the pitch. It should be a rejected act from all. This mistake has increased the controversy over this star. Hassan was only lucky because the Interior Ministry convinced its photographer to drop the charges. But the Egyptian Football Association had a different say. It suspended Hassan for three matches and asked for a $2,000 fine. These are not penalties. The Football Association's fines are worthless compared to the incident. But they wanted to take action after the match. $2,000 is very easy to pay. Yes, Hossam Hassan is a big player, but he should act as an institution. Whenever he speaks, he insults. He is easily irritated. I hope he'd be quiet for some time. In a sign of solidarity, Al Masri fans gathered one pound from each other to pay the fine instead. As the fans were defined to the association's penalty, so was the club. Al Masri renewed its confidence in Hassan as coach, despite repeated assaults. Hossam Hassan has brought stability to Port Said and the club. Port Said adores football and this is a coach who loves this club and is doing a great job. If people don't see that, we as a club make it clear. Hossam Hassan is in Port Said and will remain with the club. Hassan's rage on the pitch is well known. There are at least five major incidents recorded in his career. The biggest of them was in 2009 when Hassan stormed in Algeria after a match with Melody Bijaj. He and his brother Ibrahim hit the team's management, players and insulted the fans. Hossam Hassan might have been getting away with similar scandals, but this was his first time to get jailed. It's a sign that the Egyptian authorities' patience is running out. A message that might not be very clear for the Hassan brothers. Today after the trial, Ibrahim burst in rage, holding the president responsible for this incident. The procedures taken against Hassan have never happened before. Jail and trial were very quick. It's abnormal. I hold the president of the republic responsible for that. <laughs> Adil Mahrui, CCTV, Cairo.